so the first item that I would love to show you that has been a favorite of mine for the past couple of weeks is this oil cleanser here. I'm sorry, the name is only in Korean here, so I will definitely put the name in the description box. I have very sensitive skin, very tendency to get a lot of redness and irritation and breakouts and so on. So I'm also quite scared every time I try a new product. So I do take it very, very slowly every time I integrate a new product in my skincare routine. This was the first one that I was trying and I must admit from the first time using this one, I could already feel a difference in my skin. It was just way smoother, way more glowy and that was the only change that I did in my skincare routine, so I know that this was the one making the change. Yeah, so this is definitely a favorite of mine. It's just very important when you've used an oil cleanser that you're also using a cleansing foam or cleansing cream right after to make sure that all the oil is probably removed from your skin. Moving on to favorite number two, also a skincare product. This one is also a Korean product. I think this one is called Birk Moisturizer. It is a SPF 50 plus and I really, really struggle to find sunscreens that I can use in my everyday life uh, under makeup and everything. My eyes really has a tendency to run every time I use a sunscreen. So I've been trying a lot of different ones and nine out of 10 times is not a, a success. But this one, has really been so great. My eyes has not been irritated at all. And the product is super lightweight. Let me just show you. And it really gives a beautiful glow. Can you tell how easily it goes on? Um, I'm not sure if you can tell, but it is such a glowy cream. So it's very, very easy to put on makeup right after. So, also a huge favorite. So moving on to fashion, I recently bought these Alaya shoes. I'm sure that most of you already know these ballerina shoes since they have also been super super hyped and uh, seen on a lot of people I would say. Uh, however, the first time I saw it when they came out from, was it like two years ago or something like that, I have been eyeing them ever since. I think they are so beautiful and super unique and the perfect, perfect item to elevate and make an outfit even more cool or interesting. So I would definitely be wearing these with a pair of jeans, a white tee, maybe a little knit over your shoulders, these ones, and then you are, then you're done. Moving on to another purchase that I did. This Chanel bag, the 22, has already been used a lot, I would say. So when you're a mom and you have to carry a lot of different stuff, this one is just the perfect bag for that. It goes easily over your shoulders. It weighs absolutely nothing at all. And you can really just pull it together like this and grab it and put it in another bag. You can also have another bag in this one if that is necessary. I also really love this detailing in here where you also get this extra pouch for all your practical things. It could be your card, sunglasses. I can tell that I have this for my son here. When I'm picking him up from daycare, he is always a little hungry and wants something from mama's bag. So always have something on me. Um, but this makes it so easy to actually navigate in the bag since it is just one large compartment. Yeah, so highly recommend this bag. It is possible to also bring your laptop as well. So you can also use this one as a work bag. So really happy about this. Okay, moving on to interior. I recently got this beautiful little lamp here. This one here is from a Danish brand called N Tradition. And what I really love about this is that you can put it everywhere you want in your home, outside, whatever you feel like. You can just move it around. You charge this lamp here and then you have some options with, I think it is three steps. So you have it quite light and then medium, 
and the lower slide here and then it goes off. So you have quite a lot of options to make the environment as you want. So what I really, really love about this lamp is the lampshade is this perfect um, off-white shade. So it is kind of cozy, it's not too white. And also on top, it is actually closed, which in my opinion makes so much sense because when you light up this lamp, um, it just gives this really, really cozy, beautiful effect. And I love the riffle detailing here. I think it's such a beautiful detail. Um, we have been using this ever since we got it. I can't wait to use these lamps during the spring and the summer, like all these summer nights, you can just put these on your table and light it up when it gets a little darker outside and it will look very beautiful. So highly, highly recommend these. Yeah, so that was actually all for my current April favorites. So let's move on to what's on my wish list. A great mix of some interior and some fashion as well. And the first item that I would love to share with you is a double-breasted long blazer vibe from the Feng Shop. I am such a blazer girl. <laughs> I love blazers, I love the look of it, I think it's so chic, so elegant, really elevates every outfit. So in this transitional period where you're going from spring to summer, you really need something quite lightweight. And I just think this one here from the Frankie Shop is the perfect transitional coat slash long blazer. So it has been sold out for quite some time, but it, they just got it back in stock again. And I'm so triggered to just buy this one because I know I will get so much wear of it. And it is just a classic piece that you will be wearing over and over and over again. Imagine a pair of jeans, t-shirt and this over the top. That's all you need. Really. The second thing that I really love is, and also I would say is obsessed with, is a San Juan blazer, double-breasted as well, uh, pinstriped, and I would say both in black and in navy blue as well. Every time I see one wearing this blazer, I'm like, where is that from? It is such a beautiful piece, and every time I find out, okay, obviously it's San Juan. However, even though I know it would be such a great investment for me since I wear blazers all the time, so I can't really justify the price at the moment. I have been trying to find something similar. I went to Sandro the other day and tried a beautiful double-breasted blazer as well in black with also the pinstripe and a slightly oversized. So if you are in between two sizes, I would definitely go for the smaller size. It is still really, really much on my mind. So I am quite sure that I also need to get that one. It is not a Sun blazer, but anyway, it is a fraction of the price and it really is great quality and looks beautiful on you. So highly recommend that. Another thing that I really need for spring and summer is some and nude ballerina shoes. I really feel like my Simo Duty is doing such a great job these days. I could, oh my God, I could buy so many things from there. So there are these beautiful nude mesh ballerina with a little buckle on top. Um, and I just think they are, yeah, super, super beautiful. I would definitely consider buying those when the weather gets better because I am quite sure I will get a lot of wear out of those. I must admit, the mesh shoe has not always been one of my favorite kind of shoes, but I have been seeing so many people been wearing these over the past couple of months. They've really been growing on me. I would love a pair. They do have this very beautiful feminine vibe to them, so I think I will get a lot of wear out of them. Switching into interior, I have been eyeing a beautiful carpet for so, so long. I really want and need one for actually this living room here. And we do not at the moment have a carpet underneath our couch and table. To really make this room look full and more finished and cozy, we really need a quite large 
cupboard in here. I have been eyeing one from a brand called Laird. It is a Swedish brand and they do make such beautiful cupboards. The quality is super high. They have such a great selection. They have so much to offer. I don't know why it's been taking us so long to actually get a cupboard because I know exactly which one I want. This one in particular, I think the color is super beautiful. I love that it has a little detailing going on that is not too much because Again, when it's such, we, we need quite a large rug in here, so I tend to get a little overwhelmed if there's too many colors going on. I would rather, with all of our large furniture, I like to keep it quite simple, quite muted in the colors, and then I would add in some detailing around it to make it more personal, to make it more interesting, and so on. But for the large carpets and also the more expensive things, I like to keep it low toned. But still in this one, there are some interesting patterns going on anyway. So really love it. And I hope I will just go and get it. That was all of my April favorites and my wish list as well. And I will of course link everything down below if there's something you've seen that you would like. Uh, and otherwise, I wish you a great day and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.